Here's a great question from uh, Linda, my friend, uh, Linda Hugley. Hi, Linda. Uh, uh, thank you for this great question. She asks, if teclistimab gets used at induction or in maintenance, and clearly Linda attended the Facebook Live because I commented on some of the research where we're using this drug teclistimab, which is a bispecific antibody, uh, FDA approved when someone has had at least four lines of therapy, but it's being tested in earlier lines. She's asking if it gets used in those earlier lines, how does that affect future CAR T cell therapy? You ask a fantastic question, Linda, that is difficult to answer because we're still learning about this. But we have learned that we can go from CAR T cell therapy to bispecific. We can go from bispecific to CAR T. And we can even, with the reintroduction of belantamab, uh, use that in a sequencing process as well. Chances are, if someone is on teclistimab and their disease is growing, we won't immediately go to a CAR T-cell therapy because we want to give their T-cells a little bit of a rest because these bispecifics are constantly engaging them. We give them a little bit of a rest, but it doesn't mean that we can't proceed with CAR T-cell therapy, and we're gaining more information about that.